Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you lovely peoples of lovely, lovely blessings, positive energies. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, as always. Please remember to stay only in the highest of vibrational energy and the purest of white light. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of light once again. Okay. Whatever your enemies have gained off of you without your permission of your energy, without your permission, it is being stripped and taken away from them and returned to you as it should. Okay. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled. They are dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out our angel message of the day. We have the number 10, which is the number of completion. It says you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and you allow, it allows you to dream, uh, dream up ingenuous ideas and organize all the details. This direct, oh Lord have mercy. I promise I just have my cup of joe. You see my cup right here? I don't know what the heck is going on. Apparently, I can't read. I cannot read. I promise I can read, folks. We're just having a glitch in the matrix right now. Excuse me while I gather myself. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready for my close-up now. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. It says, you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenuous ideas and organize all the details then direct others how to carry things out i am ingenuous oh, there we go lord this here we have it folks i told you all i could read after our <laughs> reading writing <laughs> reading writing in arithmetic i promise i know them all <laughs> Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here in our tarot reading today. I hope you do, all are doing well, right? Staying highly favored because you absolutely are. Do not let anyone make you think otherwise. Lord have mercy. The karmics are fighting again. They're overindulging in something they should not be indulging in. So this situation is taking a turn for these people. You have someone in here that drinks quite a bit. Someone in here is overindulging in something absolutely karmic. And all it's really doing is causing them more of a nightmare than it's doing for you. Someone is still determined to keep something going on, even though it should have been over a long time ago. There's a group that is not getting their wish fulfillment. Excuse me if I'm going too fast because I've realized when I take my time to do my readings, my conscious brain is kicking in. Now I'm questioning questioning things and my ancestors are telling me to stop questioning what they're telling me. I think they're finding it disrespectful. So I am working on not doing that anymore. So throughout my readings, I will be going pretty fast because the information that's been given to me, it's been given to me pretty fast and a lot of information at once. And But I have realized when I stop doing my readings, during my readings, trying to make sense of things, I start questioning what I'm putting out there. That is why sometimes you all will notice um, I will have a little bit of a difficulty in putting two and two together. That's because what's given to me, I am questioning it. So I don't want to be disrespectful to my ancestors because I think that's how they're seeing that. So I'm fixing that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get back into this reading. Your enemies behind the scenes are fighting. They've overindulged in something. They're not getting their wish fulfillment. Whatever they were planning for you is not coming into fruition. These people are fighting amongst themselves behind the scenes. Still were walking around with a mask because whatever they were intending for you did not go according to plan. Someone is absolutely embarrassed, uh, embarrassed in this group because this is something that should not be partaking of. Someone is afraid of the truth coming out. And when the truth comes out, it's going to be absolutely embarrassing for this person. I know the moon is out here, but this is just letting me know that someone, this queen of wands is someone that's pretty messy and going through some type of ending that she intended for you. I'm telling you, this woman is going through something that was inevitable and this is divine intervention. This is balance being brought into a situation. Basically, this woman is going through what it is that she was intending for you. If she wanted you to be homeless, that's what she's going through and you can see she's not happy but this is someone when you see them she's going to try to hold her head up 
act like everything is okay, but someone is bad, S-H-I-T, crazy, under the surface, losing her mind. Someone is just local out here. But this is what she deserves because this is what she wanted for you. Someone is very manipulative, um, just conniving, and very deceitful and jealous. Someone wanted to be you. Um, they may have tried to interfere with some type of offer coming towards you, some type of new beginning. They did, not, they did not want you to receive. I'm telling you, someone thought something was a joke before, but it's no longer funny. So because she's losing quite a lot, if there was a... If there was a love offer between she and someone, it has been taken away from her. Or maybe it was never given to her. But just know that someone is absolutely bat s -H -I -T, crazy out here and it's alarming. Even with the person that maybe she was partnered up with before, which would be this king of wands, this could have been someone she was partnering up with. Maybe he saw her as beautiful, but it looks like he's trying to get away from her as quick as possible. I don't know why he's looking back, sir. You need to keep going in the direction that is ahead of you, not back there. There's nothing back there for chaos, okay? This woman could be dealing with some type of illness as well, or maybe even passing away. God forbid we don't speak that on our enemies or anyone because we are higher than that. We are better than that. We don't wish illness or endings for people. But it does look like this is what's going on for your enemies out here. They're not able to endure what it is they put you through, but they're going to have to find their strength in order to endure exactly what they put you through. This is that you reap what you sow. This is what she sold. So this is what's been given to her. This is like you going to work, putting in your effort, and then the company pays you back for what it is you did. So she put in the effort. The universe is rewarding her, so she cannot she cannot reject her reward is destined for her okay so someone could be sick someone could be having a hard time recovering or maybe there's something she was trying to take from you or some type of plan she was coming up to steal something from you and it's just not going accordingly balance is being brought into this situation it's quite possible that whoever she was working with does not want to work with her anymore because they see her for who she is and this is just a jizzy bell uh, someone that's very conniving, low vibrational. Maybe these two had some type of sexual relationship going on, and this has been brought to her. And this would have been like a secret relationship, maybe even at work, that these two had going on. And maybe now he's trying to distance himself from her, and she's bitter about this. Someone is into some type of ritual that they do, and this is how they get men. So she may be someone that's into dating wealthy men or men who are just stable in life so she does not mind using her beauty her bodies her looks whatever it is to get what it is that she wants and she does this by causing manipulation playing with people this is someone with always an ulterior motive for why it is that she's interacting with you someone wants to be seen as i'm telling you she causes illusions right someone wants to be seen as very bright intelligent um high value but she has not put in the work this is like a juicy bill wanting to be seen as a high priestess an empress energy a star seed a temperance energy but she's nothing she's nothing of the light of those kind of energies right so because she's been seen for who she is it's causing some type of ending for her the fact that you are still getting what's due to you is also causing her some type of distress and she sees this as some type of injustice because you're getting what's yours someone cannot manipulate anymore and because people see what it is that's really going on there's some type of justice that's been brought into play because of that and she's seeing this as some type of injustice to her mind you this is someone else trying to steal from you you possibly may not even know this woman or maybe you do just not well acquainted with her but she has made it her mission to be your replacement your replica your copy this is someone very vain this is one of those women who you know they look down on women that are like wholesome do the right thing not out here giving their body to everyone that, that smiles at them they're not looking for favors they're not looking for hand out she's quite the opposite so because she's intimidated by your energy you're actually wholesome you don't have to pretend to be what you're not you already are what you are she has to pretend to be something and this bothers her so whatever it is they were doing honey you are recovering or you really didn't experience any loss i think someone thought it was their job to control your connections, your relationships. Maybe this masculine was interested in you before and she clouded his judgment about you um, and things are now being brought into balance and she's not able to, con to control the narrative anymore. So you have some type of offer that's coming in for you. Something this woman does in her, she and her posses, her crew, whatever she want to cause them, call them the rest of the roaches behind the scenes. What they do is that if they know you have some type of offer coming in, they will go and interject and play games, get you to lose that or something like that. 
uh, this woman does not want you receiving some type of love opportunity. So what she's planning to do is to interject, intercede. So if she sees someone's com someone coming towards you to give you an offer, she plans on interjecting in some way, shape, or form. This is someone with a lot of toxic ways, and you need to be very much aware of this. I don't know if this masculine was not aware when he was getting in cahoots with this woman. Maybe he was uh, determined to take you down at some point, and this is because he has some type of clouded judgment about you. Um, but now there's some type of clarity in the situation. Maybe something was exposed. There was some type of revelation, some type of divine intervention that took place, and, uh, and it illuminated just what was going on with this situation what these people were doing and this woman is living through some type of nightmare maybe going through some type of dark night of the souls and she's trying to kind of prevent that slow it down but you can't really do that that's like you saying you can control my acts you can tell her when she can come when she can go how much she can give you all of that that you can moderate my acts everybody knows you cannot moderate that 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 girl you cannot moderate her she's she's she does her own thing maya moves according to her own time she's the justice she's the one that puts down the law and she executed she is the judge the jury and the executor so you don't play with maya you don't tell maya what to do when to do it how to do it are you out of your mind so someone is trying to control how destiny plays out as far as her karma is not going accordingly she's realizing that she effed up royally coming after you interfering with some type of collaboration between two people because this was a divine union that was meant to be now balance is being brought into the situation by the most high your ancestors your angels and someone has a problem with eating their humble pie honey we don't want that pie we don't want that pie we're going to leave it with you because it was made specifically for you by my yacht this is what you asked for hey now this is what you came for, honey. So you're going to have to take it as it is given to you. You cannot be picky. She's stuck in her situation. Tried to steal. Only to trap herself. Tried to take some. She, she may have tried to steal someone's intellectual property and pass it off as theirs. This is the God's honest truth. Someone tried to take something that belonged to you, but they cannot. It's being protected in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to adjust my mic because it is moving quite a lot, and I don't know if that's causing some type of focus focus for you all on the other end, and I apologize. Please be patient with me. I'm still trying to figure out this YouTube thing um, technology-wise anyway, so we're always having some type of technical issues over here, but you know what it is. Anyway, someone out here, the truth was exposed to them in this situation, and they refused to heed to their inner self, their higher knowledge, their intuition. Someone knew the truth. The truth was was exposed to them, but they did not listen to their intuition. Um, so they made the wrong decision and partner up with a group of people. Now this person is going through some type of ending with the rest of these people. These people are cursed, by the way, and this is not something they can cleanse themselves of because someone in here goes to a practitioner to get some type of cleansing bath because they think that's helping kind of uh, mellow things out or it's going to block cause some type of stagnation in karma coming to them but with that wheel of fortune out here honey the the karma nah nothing is touching that it's coming it's coming it's coming at the proper speed and someone cannot do anything to avoid it someone may be calling up from work not wanting to come into work but they don't have a choice because they burn out their bank account savings account coming after you so honey they don't have a choice you know one of those days you have when you just don't feel like going to work you're tired you're exhausted on every level mentally physically spiritually emotionally psychologically you're just exhausted and don't feel like going to work those days you pick up the phone and you say hey i'm not feeling well i'm not able to come in today well honey someone is having that day every day except they cannot really call off of work because they don't got the money they need the money like myself over here the bills got to be paid like myself over here so she got to go to work honey this is my yacht my yacht sat back and this is how People don't realize that they're sinking themselves into a hole, digging a grave for themselves, thinking they're digging it for other people. Maya sat back, watched this little helper dig a grave for herself, time in and time out. And initially, Maya was trying to notch her a little on the shoulder and say, hey, hey, honey, hey, don't do that. And she kind of like, mm, stop it. You know, you know how when, when kids are throwing a fit and you try to set them straight, they throw a temper tantrum so you can leave them alone. And after a certain while, after a certain while with you trying to guide them in the right direction, what do you do, people? What do you do, parents? You let them feel it, right? You let them go ahead and do what it is they wanted to do. You've done your part. 
only for them to find out, oh, this you have never done that. Someone is going through right there. Maya was trying to nudge her on the shoulders. It started up in a really subtle way. It said, hey, hon, don't do that. Hey, hon, don't do that. Hey, hon, don't do that. You know what? Go ahead and do that. You'll find out. Uh, and then she did. She found out. And now she does not want her humble pie. Honey, who do you expect to be taking this humble pie on your behalf? Uh, nobody like you like that? Nah. No, 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 no. Even the person you were working with no longer wants to be in communication with you. They've left you behind. Be mindful, collective, with someone coming into your energy. This is someone that's into some type of monachi twa energy or some type of loose energy. They want to come in and get you caught up in some type of nonsense that they have going on. These are people that are very wide, wide, wild, yeah, wild card. They do any and everything. These are people that are committed to one another, but will sleep with other people, or they will even bring other people into their bedroom. So you may have a masculine that thought he was going to come and gaslight you into joining, getting into some type of connection with him just so he can introduce you to this lifestyle. It's not happening. Someone is being kept out of your energy. If someone wants to be with you with what I'm reading, they have to be genuine. It has to be a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. It has to be a man and a woman, just the two of you. You're not into none of that nonsense. There's these young folks business out here, except with this situation, this is an older masculine that's into this nonsense, okay? Someone has not mature like they're supposed to. So they think they can come in and gaslight you into thinking that they are mature, they are interested in you, you and them are going to be getting married, have a family together. Honey, please, with this justice card in the reverse above this Ten of Cups, it's a setup. Do not do it. It's a nightmare. Someone wants to cause you some type of imbalance. This, this is a false wish come through. Okay, when someone comes into your energy, they're going to make it seem that wish fulfillment initially, just so you can let your guard down because you see right through this person. I'm telling you, you see right through them. It ain't much hidden, right? This person is right in front of you with the world right here. You see everything, honey, everything, everything. Just like Cardi B says. Okay, now I don't know how to do her sound like she does it, but honey, okay. You see everything. So there's nothing this person can hide from you. Okay. It's all out there. So what they're doing now is trying to pretend to be wholesome. They said, oh, you know, I'm attached to this heifer at home. She won't let me go. We have businesses that we are attached to. So we're bonded to each other forever. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I'm interested in you. So I'm going to come up and pretend like I'm a gentleman. I'm not a gentleman. I really don't care about emotional values. I don't have any type of sentimental values in life. All I care about is money. I'm superficial. So you know what? I know you want the one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. You're a one-on-one -on -one kind of girl. One man, one woman kind of girl. I'm not, but I'm going to pretend to be that for you until, you know, I can break you down, dismantle your, your values, your morals little by little, and then reintroduce you to the person that I'm with. The person that lets me do whatever I want because all she cares about is money and living that lifestyle. That's what this person is coming in to do. They're not going to be able to do that. They're being kept out of your energy. Someone needs to go do some type of soul searching. Someone needs to go, go and do some type of soul searching. But this person here does not care about soul searching because they have money. They feel like they have everything in life. And guess what? Guess what, collective? Guess what, soul tribe? All of that is about to be stripped away from this person. And what? They won't have the option but to do soul searching because when you don't have money anymore to brag about and to feel like you are the big shot, you are all that in a bag of chips, what else can you do? You must humble thyself before the Lord and he shall raise you up. Okay, so someone's about to be humble, honey. And source is going to do it meticulously where they will feel every bit of the change, honey. It's a, oh. I used to be there. That used to be my life. He said, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Or this is where you are now. Okay? So while your enemies are about to be going through karma, being, being humble, honey, this is about to be you. You are going to be removed from these people's energy, going through some type of beautiful victory, living your la vita loca, making the changes that you need to make within yourself and in the world. You are going to be very influential. You're going to have a lot of haters behind you or around you, but it does not matter because the most high supports you. That's all that matters. You know, it don't matter where you go, who you are, where you are, what you say, what you do. You're always going to have a hater. And like Cat Williams said, if you don't have six uh, uh, haters or whatever he said, 
uh, you, you, you're you not doing something right. You need to be working on finding more haters, okay? You need to be working on increasing that number, okay? Don't be out here worried about who hates you, who doesn't hate you. That's the thing. You're supposed to have them. Keep on collecting. Consider yourself a collector of haters, okay, honey? Uh-uh. We don't got time for all of that feeling sorry for yourself all kinds of nonsense listen you are blessed and highly favored the universe will always provide your need so you don't need to be worried about who rejects you who accepts you that's your business that is their uh, a business to figure out right that's their prerogative not yours honey you are intelligent highly i'm telling you highly favored you have knowledge with this crown out here you have knowledge that you possess that these people will never have. And some of them envy you about this because you know things that they just will never be able to comprehend. And they envy you for this, especially this woman here. This, uh, I just heard low vibrational, low IQ woman, honey. So sis is struggling out here to even put two plus two, plus two together, but she wants to have a problem with you. You don't know her or maybe you just don't care. Someone is like, non-existent to you irrelevant to you but you are the center of this woman's world this is like you up here and she's just focused on you just you're just up there shining glowing bright beautiful majestic and she's just staring at you that i wish i was up there i wish i was like her oh my god so glorious but then when anyone comes around what does she say I can't stand that heifer. She's low vibrational. She's always shining too bright. I'm trying to get some sleep and she's always out here shining. Honey, since when does the moon shine too bright? The moon is just the right kind of radiation, right? It radiates just perfectly. Okay? So someone is lying. Your ancestors is exposing this heifer. They said, uh-uh, honey, don't, don't try our daughter. Don't try our son. Okay? We know you have a problem with light. Any everything that's within you is just dark and is bothering you, but you're holding it within. But our baby, she shines, he shines, he glows. So we are going to keep protecting them as long as they're staying on this path that we have destined for them, that they have chosen and they're doing what they're supposed to do. You need to go figure your stuff out. Some of you ancestors are scary out here, even the ones of the light. They are scary out here, honey. Someone, these people are taking actions against you and they don't even have foresight of how the situation is going to end up. They're just taking drastic, impulsive action out here. Like, I'm just going to go and I'm going to do this. I'm going to interfere with their offers, their connections and things like that. Any type of businesses they're trying to build, I'm going to go and interfere with it to block it from growing and things like that. And your ancestors are just watching them and say, I hope you know we're just letting this happen because of a specific reason and we're going to leave that hidden until the time comes for us to reveal it to you our child already knows and we already know but we hope you will be discommitted when we decide to bring balance into this situation we hope you'll be discommitted because if you see what's up ahead of you honey you're not gonna like it now this is what they were telling her in the past and now honey honey and they're standing on their word. Honey, when I said they're coming through, they are coming through. They are coming through. They are committed, right? They made a promise to her that they were going to end her. And what is this, honey? They are standing their ground. There's a whole fight going on. You see this one? And they are celebrating, baby. Oh, honey. If you could see what your enemies are going through right now. But publicly, honey, they're still trying to pretend like everything is okay. Someone out here, however, is having a hard time pretending like everything is still a okay because their life is upside down. Someone does not know how you have the strength to keep moving forward. They're like, we put this person through everything. We try to take everything from this person. We took everything from this person for some of you. How are they still balanced? How are they still you? He said, honey, what you took was nothing compared to what the universe has for us. We want to thank you for the lessons. Uh. We want to thank you for the lessons. It's like the, the problems these people can cause you are temporary. But the problems you and your ancestors can cause these people are permanent. Permanent. Meaning they cannot undo it. 
So a lot of these people have taken actions to curse themselves for a lifetime and many, many lifetimes to come. And they don't even know it. They don't even know it because they're so wicked. These are narcissists. All they know how to do is cheat, steal, kill, and destroy. That's all they know how to do. But they're, they're finding out the, the hard way that not everybody is meant to be fooled with. If you see a star by themselves looking all naive and feeble, leave them alone. If they're not picking a fight with you, not starting problems, going on about their la-la business in la-la land, and they say they're talking to source, their ancestors, and they're into their crystals, you know, connecting with their amethyst crystal, quartz crystal, fluorite crystal, all kinds of crystals. Leave them alone. They're not hurting anyone. They're not hurting you. Okay? Leave them alone. Let them do what it is that makes them happy. They are in the energy that they need to be in to heal themselves and others. Okay? These people are desperate out here to be in your energy, by the way, with that coming up. They don't have access to you anymore, so they're desperate. They're out here doing all kinds of stuff. And they don't realize them even coming into your energy is dangerous for them at this point. Because every time they come in and they take any bit of your energy without your permission, they are going through some type of loss. They don't understand that. So you have people out here that are still desperate to be around you, but it's costly, it's pricely for them. Someone is sick out here because they don't have access to you. My goodness. Talk about codependency. Will you? Talk about codependency. I'm telling you, they don't have access to you anymore. You are enjoying all of yourself. The universe, universe is enjoying you. They don't know what you're up to. They don't know what's going on with you. Nothing. They are blind to what you have going on. And so someone is sick out here, may not be recovering. Honey, we don't know what to tell them. That's none of our business to worry about. That's theirs to figure out. They made their bed. They have to lay in it. Someone doesn't want to lay in their bed, but they have to. They're not being given a choice. What do you want us to tell you? Hey, now, this is what you wish for. We got to grant you your wishes. Listen, some of these people see us as genies, so we have to grant them their wishes. Brittany told them, you got to rub me the right way. They didn't listen. So, honey, now we got to grant them the wish. They were out there rubbing, come on, come on. And so we came out upset because they had disturbed our sleep. We were in slumber, okay? We were enjoying our sleep. They thought we were stuck, stuck in there, you know, nowhere to go, just, you know, confined and all kinds of things. I know the genie in Aladdin said, I have been stuck in this thing for thousands of years. No, honey. These kind of genies here that you're seeing, that lamp in there, in that lamp is universes upon universes. They travel. So when you go to rubbing, mm -hmm, rubbing, you got to be gentle because you're disturbing their travels, their playtime, right? Their voyage. Come on now. Anyway, someone went and rubbed your, your, your genie lantern a little bit too rough and it pissed you off. Now they don't like their wishes coming through. Is that way? Hold on. I heard you said death, so I'm giving you that. I heard you say unemployment, so I'm giving you that. I was trying to figure out why you were asking for all of these horrendous, horrendous other things, but your wish is my command, okay? So all of your wishes have been granted. It cannot be undone. So you wanted unemployment, we've given it to you. You wanted to be divorced, we've given it to you. You wanted to lose your home, we've given it to you. No card, <laughs> wish is granted. Everything has been granted to you. So now what is your complaint? Oh, no, no, no. I meant, I meant you should send it to, send it to who? I beg. Send it to who? Eh? Uh-uh. They were wanting the genie to send the wishes, to grant the wishes, to be, grant, to grant the wishes on your life. They said, no, we, we wanted them. We wanted the star seed to be the one that's unemployed. We wanted the star seed to be the one that's homeless. We wanted the star seed to be the one that, that's not receiving any type of love offer. 
We wanted them to be alone, broken, destroyed, miserable. I uh, said, no, 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 no. You are the one that rubbed this genie lamp, right? Correct. And you're the one that made the wish, correct? Yes. That person doesn't know anything about you. They're not interfering with your life. They're not sending out any energy. They, they didn't wish for any of those things. You put the intention out there, correct? Yes, but I was putting the intention out there for them. No, 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 no. You're in control of your life, your destiny, your path, not theirs. They didn't ask for any of that in their life. So as we said, your wishes are command and the decision is final. Oh, honey, someone does not know what to do with their self because you're out here living your best life, independent, flourishing, you know, maybe even talking to your animal friends. You know, some of you may have gardens and things like that going on. Just a happy and content in life. You may not be wealthy, but you're happy and content in life. Sharp as a two-edged sword. Just waiting for a mother sucker to say something to you. But you know they're not going to. These kind of people have to do things from behind the scenes. And then if you decide to entertain yourself and make mention of something, what do they do? Oh, they, 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 they um. Uh, what is the word what is the word they retract what is it what it is they said or did oh no 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 that's not what i meant i don't know anything about that oh no 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 and you're just looking at them oh really oh okay i'm so sorry i thought that's what you meant never mind my fault but you know the truth you know the truth <laughs> you read these people like the back of your hands and you just play along okay someone is someone knows that you know like these people at this point they know that you know you know that I know. Honey, I love that Kevin Hart for saying. You know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know. <laughs> what the F is up? Okay? We know. But they're going to keep playing around because they have committed themselves to something they cannot get out of. Someone made a deal with the devil and the devil is here to collect. The piper is here to collect. I'm telling you, the piper is here to collect. The piper is here to collect. The piper said, you said I would have access to this person 24-7. You said you could get this person's life this shimble. You said you could destroy this person's path. Why are they still happy? How are they still moving forward? Why is this person still wanting to come to them? He said, I'm trying. Try harder. You're not trying hard enough. The piper is here to collect. But guess what, collective? Whatever they're collecting has nothing to do with you because you don't have a contract with this piper. Everyone that signed the dotted line, they're the ones that have a contract with this piper. There's a father figure. Listen, I said father figure, and this is on the bottom. There's a father figure in here that is, that is trying to hide his bees. He participated in something, and he's trying to hide it. He don't want people to know where he partook in bullying someone that he should not have been bullying. Stealing from someone, blocking someone, trying to steal from someone. And he wants to hide this. He wants to hide it. This is not something you can hide. Whether they hide you today or tomorrow, honey, the day after tomorrow, it'll be out. So eventually the truth will still be out. Sorry to tell you all. The truth will still be out. Okay? It'll still be out. This is how it's destined to be. It is meant to come out. The truth will be spoken. I'm telling you, it'll still be out. So you may have people in here that now wants to apologize to you because they took some type of drastic action against you for no cause, honey, and your ancestors are interjecting, interceding on your behalf and exposing the truth. They said you're going to have to bring balance into this situation or we're going to make your lives living H-E double hockey stick. Okay, so the fun, oh, honey, and they're not happy about this. Your ancestors don't care. They don't care. They don't care, but they, they don't care, but these people are not happy about the judgment that has been made. They say, if you don't fix this, yeah, your life is about to be worse off than you can ever imagine. So you can keep pretending all you want, like you don't know what's going on, but you're committed and we're committed. You're committed and we're committed. Okay? 
and this is called balance balancing the skills it is balance it is well it is balance someone has gone through quite a lot of uh, uh obstacles jumping through hoops hula hoops all kinds of stuff someone when they started coming after you they were sprinting they thought it was about to be over they thought they were doing like an 800 meter dash or something and the and the the the, the uh the battle will be over they finished the 800 meter dash and it turned into 1600 and then it kept going and they said oh wait hold on hold on what in the world is going on here and source said oh yeah this is a marathon and they said oh okay i can do a marathon and they started running with you and they got to a point they said well how long is this marathon source said oh uh the person you're running after they decide how long the marathon is what he said yeah you didn't know yeah well you this person started running this race way before you came along um and you just went and added your own little two cents in there that was not needed but since it's in the game now because life is a game since you decided to put in your little two cents it's in the game now so this game is not over this marathon is not over until the star seed decides that it's over. And at the end, guess what? They get to make the final judgment of who, guess what? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Well, I thought my master was in charge. Your master is not in charge of anything or anyone. Your master is not even in charge of his or herself. Uh-huh. Oh, someone didn't read the fine print before they partook in something. They didn't read the fine print, so they don't know what is up. They didn't read the fine print. Someone is just wicked. Wicked for no reason. You were minding your own business, you know. Source gave you authorities to make calls, make judgment calls. They said, hey, we put you in this position to make judgment calls. You are a spiritual advisor. You are an assassin angel. You have all of these spiritual gifts. We are giving you a permission to utilize them to bring balance into situations. And you are minding your own little business, Starseed, going about your life, making these decisions in subtle ways. You respect your authority. You don't overdo it. You don't abuse it or nothing like that. And someone saw you because you are modest and you're diplomatic, you're tactful. Mm -hmm. They said, oh, look at their weakling over there. We need to go pick on them. Oh, yeah, you see this? I'm telling you, they gave you the authority. This is you, Collective. They said, we need to go fool with them. He said, uh, I think someone in the group said, don't do that. And they didn't listen. And now the marathon has been going on a little bit longer than they expected. They said, this marathon has been going on for a year now. Two years now. Three years. Oh, five, ten years? Aren't you tired? And they was like, no. My cup is always overflowing. I always have enough. Source wants me to know they like me and all, you know, they favor me and all. So I always have more than what I need. So, um, yeah, I'm always on duty. So this marathon is not anywhere near over yet because I'm, I have judgment to make, decisions to make. I have been given the authority to decide what happens with you all. So the marathon is not over. My friend, will you run? run okay someone is tired running at first they were running after you now they're trying to run away from you so she's too strong he's too strong they won't give up i'm tired and you're there like um yeah i need you to keep running yeah you need to run they don't want to run anymore collected somebody didn't see this coming they weren't expecting things to turn out this way someone is out of breath and you're out here looking pretty. You're like, oh, it's a great day to be alive. The birds are out. Come here, little bird. I want to speak with you. And the birds come and they chirp with you, you know, sing you a little song, whisper beautiful notes in your ears. And you're just humble as can be, loving as can be, just a delight to be around. And the animals love you. Nature loves you. The universe loves you. And your enemies are wondering, why? Why is she not out of breath yet? Aren't you guys tired? Yeah, 
We're worn out. We're tired. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with her? <sighs> because you jumped into a race that had nothing to do with you. You were never prepared for this race. Surprise. This person is committed. Now we have to see how committed, how committed you are. It's not looking good. You're tired. You're tired. You are tired. I'm telling you, you are tired. You're tired. Someone wants to hit reset. There are no reset buttons. You got to keep going. <laughs> you got to keep going. Hey, now, this is what you play. You came for, honey. This is what you came for. This is what you came for. Okay? You all were determined to put someone through heartbreak, through disappointment. You know, you were you were very committed, taking actions. Some of them may have even traveled just to do you something, going to practitioners and things like that. The practitioner is turning out to not know what they're talking about. They lie to this person. Someone definitely went to a practitioner to get the truth, but the practitioner lied to this person. They said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a dark worker. Oh, no, 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 no. She don't know what she's talking about. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I wouldn't listen to nothing they're saying. And so someone left from there and then went and did something, block your business, block your resources, block your promotions, all kinds of stuff. And now they're finding out this little heifer here. They didn't know what the heck they were talking about. It says, someone deceives me. I went to find out the truth and they deceived me. Is it? Yeah, maybe because they were in collaboration with the people that you were trying to get away from. This is why they deceived you. Okay. Ooh, this is a long story, but the marathon continues. At this point, it's just entertainment for the universe to start seeing everybody else that's outside of this dark Coven, it is entertainment. They said, Oh, it's another episode of the karmics being exhausted from coming after an innocent person that did nothing to them. What shall we see today? Oh, more illusions, more manipulations. This is redundant. Will you let it go? Oh, no, you don't want to. Okay, carry on, carry on. The race continues, okay? The race continues. Someone is heartbroken because you are still getting your blessings. This is all it has to do with. They have some type of idiotic belief that if they keep blocking offers from coming to you, you're just gonna give up. Meanwhile, the universe is using this whole situation to elevate you right in front of these people. It's that, oh, we want you all to be front and center when we are elevating this person onto the pedestal that we have chosen for them. So guess what, honey? The universe is gathering all of these people, whether they like you, dislike you, frenemies, friends, foes, friends, enemies, family members. Repetition is redundant at this point. You get the meaning. You get the glitch of it all. They're all going to be gathered up and will get to witness you elevate. It's a, oh my God, someone is pissed off and they're going to be throwing a fit behind the scenes. You don't care, collective, because it has nothing to do with you. What you care about is your abundance, your elevation, your purpose, fulfilling your purpose, okay? These people are losing it behind the scenes. They're, someone is very faithful when it comes to doing rituals. Every moon cycle. They may even do it weekly. Someone does some type of spiritual, dark spiritual work every night. It's not working. It's not working at all. There could be a spiritualist in here that does not even want to work with these people anymore. Mm -hmm. They know you see. Someone knows or oh, this group, they found out that you see. You have some type of gift. And it's terrifying for these people. They say, oh, this person knows everything. Nothing can be hidden. No, nothing can be hidden. And so they go on to do work. They do 
uh, mental magic. They do heart magic, beauty spells, death spells. They're doing it all. They just want you out of here because you know the truth about these people and they don't want it to be exposed. This is part of the reason why they're trying to hide some of you, whether you're on a social platform at work, in life overall, they're trying to hide you. They said people can never find out what it is that we did or who we are, what we do behind closed doors, but it's destiny. They're going to be found out. It has already set, been set in stone. They are going to find out. Shocking. This is a revelation for you all. There's nothing you can do to block this revelation from coming out. This truth, all of your skeletons, because you know why? How determined you were to destroy someone. This is why it's coming out. And this queen of wands out here that's losing everything, you're losing everything because of how determined you were to destroy another person. You should have left this person alone a long time ago. Left them alone. Should have walked away because the person you're coming after wasn't even paying you any attention. Someone didn't pick no fights with you. They didn't do nothing to you. Someone didn't even take a piece of your hair or nothing. Someone didn't even pinch you, say a bad word to you. They didn't even have any type of negative thoughts for you. But you made it your mission to destroy someone. Why? Because of jealousy. Envy. You're drunk. You have drinking problems. And you're loose. Your business is coming out. I'm going to get away from your energy because I don't care about any of that. That's your business. You have some healing to do. But you're going to have to find your strength to make it through what you're about to go through. Just like that star see. Oh, have to find the strength to make it through what they had to go through because of all of you. Okay. Okay. Can you imagine? Someone has been following some of you around faithfully. You go from A to B, they go from A to B to cause you problems. Or your ancestors say, oh, you're protected. You have reasons to celebrate. Okay. You go from B to C, they still go there too. They say, uh, no, this person is not who they said they are. And again, your ancestors say, you are protected, honey. This chapter is over with. You have nothing to worry about. For a while there, you all were going through these... The, going through these trials and errors and you never thought it would come to an end and your ancestors said it's over soon you're going to feel on the karma waters just keep your eyes on us do what it is we're telling you to do you're going to be successful right you're going to be sealing on the karma water and you will be successful you are going to connect with your twin flame and will manifest a new reality someone hates the fact that you are hopeful they don't like your hope they're like, no, we need to destroy this person's fate. Excuse me? Because someone thinks they've done everything to destroy your possibilities of making it in life. Only for them to find out the only person going through ending is them and the rest of the roaches. You see them roaches and you see them crawl, see them crawl. You know, when you turn on the lights and they all scatter. Look at that. Six, moving on to karma waters, healing, recovery. Okay. Source, what is your next advice for us? What would you like us to know? Oh, look, look at that. Okay. Working towards something. Working towards your future. Putting in effort. You're being advised to put in effort. Be open-minded as well. Okay. Source, what is your last advice for us? Let's... Oh, Let's see. Like it literally came and got stuck up here under this. Okay, now source. And completion. Let's see. The ancestors are too marvelous. Okay. So we have seven out here. Um, seven. We have six out here. Well, maybe seven is essential for someone. You're going to be blessed. You have luck coming in. Okay. We don't want to just disregard that that's important that the number seven came out someone is about to go through some type of luck favor from the most high it says you have a heart of gold and are very skilled and maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer protector and provider all at once 
Ain't that the truth? Five, flexibility is your fort. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected. Yeah, on in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. Mm-hmm. Ten. I'm telling you, right? Putting in work, being open-minded. Yeah, efforts and things like that. Ten. Completion. Five. Five. Okay. Substantial change. Change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of fear. I am evolving. Thank you. Anyways, folks, this was a wonderful reading. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.